Hey guys, this is iPad 2 Absolutely we're here, and today we're going to be doing a video on the top 5 free games for the iPad. I have good news and bad news. The bad news is that you may be watching this video probably a week from now, um, a year from now, a day from now, I mean, any day, and these apps may not be free anymore, so don't freak out saying, um, why do you make this video if they're not free? They are free till of, of this day of August 1st, 2011. They may also be free any other day since apps change all the time, so don't freak out. And the good news is that all the apps I will be reviewing are universal, so um, don't let the title um, of my video scare you because they are also available for the iPhone as well as the iPod Touch. So let's go ahead and start. At number 5, we have Deadlock Online. This game is a third person shooter, so. So let me go back. So you're gonna come up to the screen. You'll be able to play online, play offline. You'll be able to show your armory, or you'll, it will give you a brief tutorial. We'll just play real quick, play online. Um, custom game, refresh list. You got capture and hold, team deathmatch and deathmatch. And I'm this is a third person shooter, and I'm pretty sure most of you people played like Call of Duty or something on your Xbox 360 or PS3. It's really similar to this, except that this is just in third person. Third person is um pro pretty much a a view from the top, as um I know most of you played like on Xbox or something, like I said Call of Duty. Let me join another game. Sorry about that. Let me just choose quick play. Okay, so like I like I was saying, this is a third person, which is like uh from over the top view of your player. This is not per first person. So it says right here, wait wait holds for starting the game. It's a really fun game. I really like it. Okay, it's about to start. This game has features five new maps. Pretty cool. The fact that it's free, it's just awesome. Okay, so you get to choose your all of your um your classes. You get to buy new weapons and stuff. I'm just gonna click confirm. So right here you have your left analog stick, which is to move, and you have your right analog stick, which is to shoot. Right above it, you got a reload button and you got a grenade button. So let me just throw the grenade. I'm wasting it, but um, here you got your enemies, and you pretty much shoot them. I'm not this good at this game, so I'm, see? But that's pretty much how you play Deadlock Online. It's a pretty fun game. Go ahead and check it out. It is free, so that's always good. Let me just try one more time. The people in red are your enemies. The blue ones are your teammates. Ah, uh, couldn't get them. But you can't pick up other people's weapons and... The more you kill the people, the you unlock new points and you the you use the points to um buy new weapons and stuff. Okay, I'm not that good at this game, so I'm sorry. And at number four we have let me see my list because I have a list like right next to me. Um at number four we have Racing Penguin Flying Free. Okay. It is it is a free game. There is a paid game version of this game, but um, I think this the free version has enough levels to keep you pretty much um 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 entertained for a while so you got your shop where you can buy different types of penguins different star super fish take away the ads you got the play and the options on the options you will have music toggle and you will be able to show your tutorial let's go ahead and play you got four different types of worlds as you would say so we'll go show you the first one antarctica now let me show you the second level it's a really fun game. You touch anywhere on the screen to start. Right here, you will have your pause button. Okay, so what you pretty much do is you're this penguin, and you press it down, and it will go faster. And the and the better you press it down, like on a slope, the better it is. And you try to also get the fish. You see the fish right there? And, like, the, the better, like, you got to time it so it's, like, better, and you're, like, right on the curve, so it will go faster. Okay, you got to clear the level. No, thanks. Okay, you get to go retry menu next or shop. And you just go next. As you can see right here, there's a bear, and um that bear wants to get you, so you gotta get to the finish line before he gets you. Really fun game. Lots of levels to keep you entertained, and it's free, so that's the best part. Get the fish for boost. You tap anywhere on the screen for it to go. Okay. Go ahead and the menu. So yeah, guys, this is Racing Penguin Flying Free. Okay, let's see number three. On number three, we have Paper Toss HD. 
the HD version is not available for the iPhone, but the paper towels, which is norm the normal version, is available for the iPhone and iPod Touch as well. So as you can see right here, you got easy, medium, hard, airport, basement, restroom, pub, or street. Since this game is free, of course, it's supported by ads, but they don't really bother. They only get in the way, like, when you're choosing what level you want or something. So I'll just go ahead and medium. So this game is really cool. All you pretty much do is flick this paper ball rolled up into the bin so you can have it's gonna say right here 5.31 you gotta pretty much measure it and it will show you what direction it's from the wind so you're like five is pretty high so you just try to make it in four is pretty much around the same so you try to kind of level it up and get into the bin one whole point is to get as many in the bin in a row it's really cool I really like this game once again, I'm not that good, but it's pretty cool. Go ahead and check that out. This is Paper Toss HD. Like I said, the um, P HD version is not available for the iPhone or iPod Touch. The Just the normal version, which is the, the Paper Toss. Comes from all different directions and different um, wind directions, sizes. So you got your, your submit button. You can submit your best score. You could go back to the main menu. No. Okay, so you could turn your sounds off or on, and you could check your high scores right there. You could remove the ads, which um, you pay money to get the actual version, which is $1. Okay, so that is at number three. At number two, we have Cut the Rope Holiday Gift. Let me check where it's at. Okay. It is Bachelingo. Really fun, addicting game. I'm pretty sure most of you guys played it. I'm pretty sure most of you gotta just play Cut the Rope, which is the normal, um, which is the normal actual full version. This is just a holiday gift, which is like a little present, I guess. So the full version is not a holiday gift. The full version is the actual normal version, which is Cut Cut the Rope. And I actually did an app review on that one, so you should might go ahead and check it out. So you got the full version. You got you got the options. Toggle the sounds, music. You could go to the credits. You could reset your game. Let's go ahead and play. You got all these different levels. You got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 levels. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's good. So, the whole point of this game is um, you, you're, you have this candy and you want to feed it down here to the Om Nom. That's what it's called. I thought it was a frog at first, but you want to also collect the stars along the way. So, you find a way. It's not the easiest game. You got to try to find a way to get um, all of them feed into the Om Nom. You just got to cut the rope. And feed the candy to that Om Nom. You try to get mostly all the stars. When um the better, you will be able to replay menu or next. We'll just go to next. You will have um platforms and different types of um what do you call them? Like different things that will help you and that will make it harder for you to pass a level. Different objects and stuff. You could always replay right here at the top right. And also you have your menu button and how many stars you got along the way. So yeah guys, this is Cut the Rope Holiday Gift. Available on both on all devices, like I said, it's universal. So this is at number two. So at number one, my get best thing by far is Poppy Jump for the iPad. Yes, this game is awesome. There is um this um for the iPhone and iPod Touch it is not called Poppy Jump for the iPad it's just called Poppy Jump. So right here you get you get to choose your control whether you want to tilt, touch, or slide it, and you will be able to start game tutorial. The tools earn more games by Sunflat. So I'll just choose touch. So let's go ahead and start game. So it, this is just um you touch either left or right, and you see all these platforms. You try to get on top and get the cheeseburgers and try to go as high up in the air as possible. Trying to fall down. Really fun addicting games. You can see I fall down already. It's a high score game, so you try to just beat your score every time. This discard corn and restart. Can I try one more time? Wow, this game is really fun. I could play this game all day. You can go on the side of the screen and come to the other side, like this. So you touch either left or right, or you have the ability to change the different types of way you want it. So you says game over. 
So yeah, guys, these are my top five free universal apps and all um different devices. So let's do a recap. At number five, we had Deadlock Online, which was a third-person shooter. At number four, we have Racing Penguin Flying Free, which was the penguin being chased by the polar bear. At number three, we have Paper Toss HD, which was that ball of paper that you toss into the bin. At number two, we have Cut the Rope Holiday Gift, which you feed that candy to that little frog om nom thing. And at number one, like I said, was Poppy Jump, which is a fun, addicting little game where you just try to get that ball up as high in the air as you can. Okay, guys, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And make sure to, to um, I make app reviews daily, so also make sure to subscribe for daily app reviews. Um, even though if you don't have an iPad, I do make app reviews that are universal, so don't worry about that. I just make them on the iPad. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to save this video to your favorites and give it a thumbs up if you like it. Comment down below. And yeah, guys, this has been iPad 2 Apps Review, and I'll see you on the next review. Bye.